So in uh, part two, I'll be talking a little bit about how, do, how to deal with you. How do you turn 30 petabytes of data a day into delicious, delicious cheese? Um, it's kind of a, kind of a thing. Um, and I understood that a lot of people here are very technical, um, IT students, computer science, um, geeks like me. Um, I want to talk a little bit about MapReduce. Um, it's been mentioned in, um, in, in previous presentations, and I'm happy, thank you for uh, the other presenters not to steal my thunder. Um, but let's, let's dive a little bit into MapReduce, because it's a very big deal. It's a very big deal. Uh, it was a great invention. Um, and it's like slicing cheese. I, when I was working on this presentation, I had to keep up the metaphor, but it actually works quite well. Um, so before we dive into code, a little bit of background be, uh, be, um, behind MapReduce um, was, was mentioned earlier. It's invented by Google. Um, and it scales, it's, it's a, a way, a paradigm to process data um, in a way um, that, that you can easily scale uh, and scale horizontally, which basically means you add more machines and therefore you get more power without sacrificing too much overhead. Um, and it's so simple, it's two functions. And honestly, it's so simple that I do not, still up until this day, I do not understand that mankind did not come up with this before 2004. We've, we landed people on the moon, but we didn't figure this one out. Which is kind of, it's kind of cool, but still, it's, it's weird. Um, so the idea here is that you have a map with a key and a value. Um, and um, well, you have a key and value, and you put that into a map function. And that map function uh, produces a list of potentially another key and uh, potentially another value. Then there's some magic that happens. Um, and then you have a reduce function that takes in a key, um, that's key two, and then an, a list of values um, that belong to that key that you, are, that you output in that uh, list. And from that, you generate a list of um, a third value, potentially. So I just want to take you through what is called word count, which if you read anything about MapReduce, this always comes up and it's sort of the hello world of big data. Um, if you do not know this, then you're not a big data developer or data scientist. Um, so study this, study this stuff, it's very important. Um, so in this case, I took the lyrics of um, Get Lucky by Daft Punk and uh, Pharrell. And I want to know, because he says get lucky, get lucky quite often in that track. So I would just want to know how often, right? Um, so basically what I want to do is transform the, the lyrics into a list where I get a, a count and then a word. Hence word count. Right. Um, I don't know if there are any, any Unix geeks in the audience. Nice. OK. Yeah. Um, it's, you, could do, you could do that with, a, with an easy um, shell script uh, where you, yeah, I'm not going to explain this one. Um, Study this. It's a good career choice, Unix. Um, so let's, let's do the same in MapReduce. Um, and why do we do this? Just because we can. It's fun. Like, obviously, lyrics to get lucky is not big data, but it sort of uh, proves a point. Now, the idea here is that we have, as I said, we have this, uh, this function, map function. And what we input is a line number which we're not going to use, and we have the line itself. And then we split the line by a space, um, and therefore we get words, and then we iterate over these words, and we emit, uh, first we lowercase the word so that you know, we, we up with a uppercase u and up with a lowercase u are, are, are actually the same word. So we, we lowercase them, and then we emit them, um, the word and the number one. So the output here, is in this case like one, the one, and then you see later on you also see um, the one uh, uh, appearing again, etc. So for every word, this is again the first part of that, that song. Then magic happens. <laughs> Unicorns, ponies, uh, or uh, gnomes, fairies, etc. Um, 
and they transform those, the unicorns mostly, um, they transform the input to the reducer to um, records of a key, in this case all, and then all the ones that, I've, that, that we've emitted. Um, uh, that, that list is transformed, or that list is generated and then input as, um, as, as imp that's input to the reduce function. Um, so in the reduce function, we get a key and an iterator of values. It's a little hard to read maybe, but it says string key and iterator values here. Um, we create a local variable for the sum, um, and then we, we count, we, we loop through the, uh, the iterator, we exhaust the iterator, um, and we, well, in this case, if it's strings, we have to cast it to an integer, uh, we add it to the sum, and then we emit the sum, the key in the sum. So in this case, the output from the reduce function is here all 65, up 64, gift 1, etc. Now, how do we parallelize this, you might think, because it's, uh, I could do this on one machine, but if we have big data, then that's, that's a little more tricky to do. So in this case, we had one cow making cheese, or cheese from, and now we have multiple cows. So how do we, do, how do we parallelize this? Well, it's actually quite simple. Um, we just cut up the text in, in this case text, but the data, we cut up data into multiple, multiple pieces. And we feed all those pieces to one, to a single mapper. Um, or sorry, multiple mappers. So each piece goes to one mapper. Um, and then the output from all those mappers, they go to uh, reducers, and then the reducers produce output. Um, now there's one, one trick here, is that all the keys, all the same keys need to go to the same reducer. So, and that's where those fairies come in, that's the magic that happens. Um, it's called shuffle and sort, which means that if you have one mapper function outputting up, and another mapper function outputting up, then they need to be sent up, needs to be, uh, be sent to the same reducer. Uh, but still, it scales very well, and especially if you know what you're doing, you can make this, uh, make this work very well. So to do this um, at large scale at Spotify, what we do is we use MapReduce, uh, and we do that by virtue of Hadoop. Um, we use Storm for real-time processing, was mentioned earlier, I think, a little bit. Um, and this is more that you can look up these, these things and impress your friends. Um, Cassandra, we use to store data, and we actually use a lot of Excel. And you think, like, ah, Spotify, hip companies, cool, those guys build awesome software. A lot of analysis happens in Excel, because Excel is pretty amazing. Um, in part three, I'll take you to, through some, uh, some examples. Thank you.